So since you're here and you just experienced that, would you say it's different watching it on TV versus experiencing it in real life? For sure. We shut the lights off real quick. Can you make a sound for us? It's pretty loud. Be oh my God, hurt, dude, the Something like smack the crap out of that wall. It's real. Just going through and looking for signs of an animal. Oop, I just heard a sound down here. So far, not seeing any animals though. Definitely a different ball game when it's daytime, nighttime, you wouldn't catch me walking by myself. Screw that, especially after last night when Trey was here. Yeah, it's actually crazy because earlier, or not earlier, but yesterday when we came through here, we actually had this right here. Let me show you. This right here was like this, and we sat there and watched it go. Crystal, Fritz, she is what we call the merch girl. <laughs> she She's a friend that uh, she makes t-shirts and all sorts of stuff. She can put your name and face and whatever on a t-shirt. How long have you believed in the paranormal? Years. She, had, she has believed in the paranormal for years, yeah. but she recently started getting into actual paranormal investigations and she went to a penitentiary recently expecting to have her socks blown off and that didn't happen. So she started basically questioning her beliefs and we had planned on starting or doing this with like genuine skeptics, but last minute all of our skeptics bailed. We had two of them and they happened to bail last minute but we, we decided to just change about things are going to be. She was one of the skeptics plus ones, but as of right now, she's still technically 50 50, or I don't know about right now, but she, she was 50 50 before she got here. But she, she, so far, we've been here for over 24 hours. We stayed the night here. We did experience some stuff, as you guys have already seen. So, with that being said, Crystal, where are you at now, as far as your belief system on a scale of zero to 10? 90. 90? <laughs> <laughs> zero to 100. <laughs> so nine. If she changes from zero to 100, zero to 10, 90. She decided to make it zero to 100, so she's at a nine. <laughs> Ninety. Well, okay. So, what were some things that you remember happening last night that you couldn't explain? The first thing, the bed. Mm. Like someone laying on the bed right next to us. Yeah, we were not filming for that because it was still. It was like what seven o'clock. No, it was like it was 6. Early. Yeah, it was like 5.30 or 6. Yeah. We were just chilling out and we heard a noise, looked over and it looked like somebody was sitting on her air mattress. So we fixed it and took a picture of it just in case it happened again. And so far it hasn't happened yet. But what else are some of That happened right in front of you so you knew yeah. nothing could have messed with it. That's crazy. What else have happened last night that is like, how do I explain that? the noises, how they were responding to you. We also heard that voice that was like right in between both of yeah. us. I'm hoping that my camera audio or the mic audio picked it up because it was like right, you was on the other side of me and it was like right in between us. It's loud. Like a minute, like a minute.
Like a minute. Even the way the places, they changed. Like the feeling. Oh, like yeah. The yeah, the, the weight, like the yeah. energy. Some places, especially going from daytime to nighttime, yeah. you definitely feel a massive change and it's weird. And over here and then over there is a big difference. Yeah, after this, after this interview, what we'll probably do is film her walking into Pine Lawn, walking around, because sometimes Pine Lawn, even during the daytime, will give you that weird, creepy, heavy feeling. So far, I haven't had that here, and I've walked around here by myself multiple times, but it seems like if I walk around by myself or whatever at Pine Lawn, it still, still gives me that like weird feeling, and you'll still hear some stuff. It's going on 5.30 in the afternoon, so it's still, the sun is still out, and It sounded like shh. Or am I tripping? That ain't what I heard. What'd you hear? I heard like a growl kind of in the ground. That was a footstep. Yeah, those are yes, footsteps. <laughs> those are loud. Someone must be saying that piece of here. Yeah. Hello? No, you're good. You scared the shit. That would have been good. That would have been good. Right before you came in, it sounded like we heard a growl. Yeah, and then start hearing footsteps. You heard a growl? Yeah. Well, no, right before you came in, we heard footsteps. I was about to stop the interview real quick. Yeah, because yeah, I was too scared. I jumped over here. Yeah, because <laughs> that's why we were quiet. Hey, well, So I know we didn't really spend a lot of time in Pine Lawn yesterday. We spent probably a little bit more time here than we did in Pine Lawn last night, but that was because of the periodic rain and stuff like that. We didn't want the cameras and stuff to get super wet. But from the time we spent in Pine Lawn and the time we've spent here in the rehab center, which one would you think so far has tipped the scales in the paranormal favor for you so far? The other building. Pine Lawn? Yes. And that's this even one feels more friendly. More friendly, mm -hmm. yeah. This you one, come in. yeah. This one seems to be more vocal because yesterday, mm -hmm. we, all of our disembodied voices that we've heard with our ears came from this building, yeah. and it sounded like women and children. But over there, it will just make you feel nervous. Yeah. Well, it's, um, from over in Pine Lawn, what were some of your more uh, more favorite pieces of evidence that we caught yesterday? Just them responding to you with on the command. knocks and stuff. Yeah. yeah. What about the whistle you heard yesterday in Pine Lawn? Oh yeah, as soon as yeah. we walked in, they whistled and we didn't and, catch it. Yep, and that is exactly why, yeah, too. that is exactly why I started last night uh, pressing the record button before we even walked into Pine Lawn because as soon as we walked into Pine Lawn mm -hmm. yesterday, as the sun first started to set, we had something clear as day whistle at us from down the hall. and didn't get it on camera because I didn't think to start recording just yet because we were just walking in. But I learned my lesson. I sent your investigation here at Pine Lawn in the care center and you jumped up so high after the first night and you still have another night to go. Yeah. Like, do, you, do you see yourself, do you see yourself uh, on future investigations? Yeah. That's what it's all about. I think Trey is going to also. We're gonna inter yeah. if he comes back today. We're gonna we're gonna interview him for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he will though, cause he got the crap scared out of him last um, night. He told us before he left that he was gonna try and make sure he could make. What? Yeah. Oh, screw it. Okay. You don't hear them cricket? <laughs> I was about to say, my homie's going deaf. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know why you freaking hear I told you I was about to kill my ass. I'm like, you didn't hear that cricket? It's already going in circles. That's why I can't do it. Because I won't be able to hear them coming. Until they're right on my tail. What the hell? I, I, was it a pin? Oh, where the hell did that come from? Yeah, where did that come from? 
you have one in your pocket? Yeah, but it wouldn't have fell out of my pocket. It's not yeah. Out of my pocket. That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't. They probably threw it at you. That was weird. Yeah, nothing fell off the camera. It's a pen. It's the same pen you have. You got the pen for your no, because I don't, I don't have no holes in my pocket. None. I don't know That's what else. I kept it. it came from the camera. Like yeah, because I, I hit the camera like that. That's what I heard, and then I heard it fall. Yeah, I thought something fell off the camera. Did you have the, cam did you have the pen out of the camera? No. Uh -uh. No, we don't even have a pen. Well, that must have materialized out of nowhere. No. <laughs> I don't know where the f*** it came from. That's crazy. Apparently. I think Tony's enjoying this a little too much. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting this tight. I could have got tired, trust me. I didn't even go nowhere near as tight as I will. I could. It's okay because it's not going to go like that. So, I just got off work, guys. I haven't even done anything yet. Brandon's here, 48 hour lockdown. Um, what this is, is just an isolation challenge, is what it is. Anytime you're to this location, Brandon can verify it. Um, many others could too, by the way. Um, when you're alone, is when things hit the fan here, paranormal wise. The paranormal activity occurs, uh, it varies from person to person. A lot of people experience the same things and a lot of people experience different things. On this particular hallway down there at the end there on the right hand side, even though it's pitch dark, they can still see like a, uh, like a person peek out of the doorway and peek back, you know, kind of like he's looking and he's uh, pacing back. Door slam, uh, like something running up on you, walking up on you, touching you, uh, strange lights. Different yeah. from this challenge is from what we typically, what I typically do. I don't do any cameras, uh, no lights, no equipment. It's just you in the dark for 15 minutes by yourself, the experience in the building for what it is. I say go no, no, no. Uh, we won't do any equipment. Don't do equipment? No. Nope. Okay. Not unless you want to, but set it down there a little bit if you can. Where do you want the equipment at? I don't care. I think it's going to say Because it's only going to go off if something walks in front of it, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, so, correct. Just, uh, I was telling them to have it facing yeah, in, in, in the there, since All that's right. where Ed passed. What, uh, there's just a light on the wall. Is there a car passing through? No, there's no car. Oh, it's yeah. There is. Let me see it though. Oh, my bad, brother. Whoever the shadow man in here is, come up and scare the shit out of her. I don't think she thinks anything's gonna happen. Right now it's the time to prove it to her that uh scare the shit out of her. And we're rolling on the night vision camera. And that is what she will pitch to her. Make the presence known. You guys got the ability here to uh, really put it on somebody. To really scare the effing shit out of somebody. Now she's gonna be alone in this building by herself. Roll her down the hallway. <laughs> Play with the equipment, let her know that you're here. Talk to her. Whatever you want to do. What's going to happen is she's probably going to warm things up, so when you do yours, it's going to go ahead. All hell's going to break. I ain't doing mine. I already done one. Is that, a, is that, is she turning it down, Brandon? That's what it sounds like. I'm turning, hey, at yeah. least I've already done one. <laughs> Who's the one? Is she turning it down? It's my challenge. Who, exactly, <laughs> which means you should be it's the first challenge. one to do it if you're going to challenge other people I'm to the do one it. You should have been the first one. I'm exactly. the creator of the challenge. Exactly. So Mr. I don't want to hear it until you, you get yourself in here. You know what? I'll do another one as soon as you get in here and you get tied down. Well, 
So she's challenging me. Oh man. <laughs> Let's just get the hell out of here before. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. That's great. Hey, Bye. leave my wife here though. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you experienced that uh, the first time you've done that. Yes, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> I turned my time. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Mike, I'm in your hallway. Ed, anybody down here wants to talk to me? So I try to get my ass out of there before you try to throw me into it. I'm like, oh, I got some foolish bravery here. Am I gonna fucking get talked into this? Nope, let's go. Nope, let's go. <laughs> Can you knock on a door for me? Thank you. <laughs> he hasn't even started the clock yet. <laughs> so that. <laughs> She's already been in there for like 30 minutes. Right. So now I know how you done me. That's right. <laughs> I seriously doubt minutes. that nothing happened. That's that's not gonna happen, but no. She's gonna get something. Ed, are you here? Can you play the piano? Thank you. I have a recorder. Can you talk to me on it? Can you tell me who's communicating with me? Can you make some noise for me? Or play with one of these equipment? Thank you. Are you getting out of bed? Yeah, I was right down there. Hmm. Well, thank you for communicating with Missy. What little we got. If if you do it with me though, uh, we could do it in this corner right here. Yeah, this corner right here. I don't know what it is, but that's my favorite spot when it comes to having people do challenges and shit. Because if you sit right here, in this spot right here, well, even if you just sit right here, there's nowhere that's someone, like you got that door there, this door, that door, that hallway, that hallway. It's just crazy. Insane in the membrane. I know something happened. At least something, what happened? I was just hearing noises. They were talking to me, giving me knocks on the door. Question. Loud enough to pick up on the camera? I don't know. It's like that song, can you do it louder for me? I asked them if they knew who I was and stuff, so we'll see if they recorded that or anything. Anything else or just a bunch of noises? Just noises is what I was hearing. And then I was trying to determine if you guys were messing with the light out there because I kept seeing like two mm -mm. floating lights through in here. Well, there it is. That's what everybody sees. Yep. No, we really yeah, weren't messing with lights that's out what there. I wanted to hear, it, really, because. Yeah. Pretty sure somebody was touching my arm. So. Well, I asked them to touch you before I left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The lights is what a lot of people see in this hallway, like strange lights. I mean, you know, it's like. I just see a cat ball going off, music ball off. Oh, nothing happened. Just I just saw two of the light anomalies and yeah. a bunch of knocks and noises. <laughs> <laughs> It's like yeah. everyday shit, right? Oh, yeah. I got like a real cold breeze right in front of me, and then that's from my arm right here. All right. I can feel it on my arm right here. She said, oh, I can't do it. Her and I are going to do a duo down here at the corner. 
I'm strapping somebody in the wheelchair. Okay. You can strap yourself in. I'll push you down the hallway. <laughs> He's like on the ridge. Shove you in. Put this. You can bring it down here and I'll sit in it. You ain't strapping me down, but I'll sit in it. And uh, she can sit in the chair and that'll be our little duo. You can have us in here for like 20 minutes if you want. All right, guys, so me and Crystal here, we're going to do a 15 to 20 minute duo instead of a solo. This is her first time doing an actual investigation that wasn't part of a public investigation. We are gonna be full IR, but uh, she's not comfortable doing a solo, which I completely understand because I'm not comfortable doing a solo in here and I won't do it. So we're just gonna do a duo. Can you guys hear me? something if you're friendly like finish this for me I know you guys know who I am, or at least most of you guys do. I've been here a lot. But this here is my good friend. Her name is Crystal. She is a DSP like what I was. She knows the kind of stuff you guys have been through. And she, she knows that you guys also aren't aggressive and whatnot. So you can communicate with us. She may be a little on edge. And it might like scare just a little bit because she's not really used to this kind of stuff, but it'd be, it's okay, you can talk to us. Can you make a noise for us if you, uh, if you wanna tell Crystal hi? Oh, yep, I heard that. Hello. Ed, do you sometimes still play the piano? Oosh. One of you guys are close, I can feel you. Yeah, something touched my finger. Is your phone vibrating? Yeah. What? Yeah. What is that? Did you? Yeah. yeah. It sounded like it was right here with us, so. Yeah, that's why I checked my phone, too. My phone's in my pocket. I don't know, it's not vibrating. Sounds like something was walking down there. Yeah. Towards Ed's way. It's not a raccoon. It's not like some sat in that chair. Yeah. Behind the camera, behind the night vision camera.
Oh, how you shut it off is this right here. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that was our 15 minutes duos. Let's see what's going on outside. They must not have set an alarm because she set an alarm after they went outside. And yeah. Yeah, we've been here for like 20 minutes. Let's see what's going on with them real quick. So how how was it for you? It is bright. How do you think it went? You think it went worse or better than you thought it was going to? Better than I thought it would. Yeah, I thought it honestly it went better than I thought it was going to. Also. I think someone touched my finger. You said you thought, oh yeah, you did someone mention that. touched my finger and right afterwards. I wasn't going to say anything because I wasn't sure. And yeah. Like, I can feel you guys. <laughs> yeah, there was something that got close to us. It didn't, it didn't feel like anything dangerous. Uh -uh. But there was definitely something. Yeah, right before that I felt like. It get a little heavier. Yeah. And then a little later it touched my finger. Right. But we're going to go outside and see what's going on. Because there was a couple times we heard, like, remember when we heard that weird thing? And I couldn't tell if it was outside or inside or what. Hell, I think they, oh. And this right here is exactly why I don't like doing challenges with these motherfuckers. Because of this. I had a feeling, well, that just means that that wasn't them, that yeah. what we heard, and we didn't know if it was outside or what. They probably thought, well, it's two of them, so we're not going to worry about uh, sticking around and making sure they don't die or nothing. <laughs> they could get mauled by raccoons in there, but yeah, who cares? But I'm going to set you guys down for a second and get back over there, and I'll see you guys here in a second. We heard a vibration. Yeah, have you ever heard that? Vibration. There was a... Uh, like a refrigerator on us? Yeah, it was like... Yeah, but it yeah. stayed doing that. Like, it just wouldn't stop. And and then I asked her, I'm like, is that your phone? Like, is someone trying to call you? And she was like, no, I didn't. She goes, I checked my phone because I kind of thought the same thing. But it was like right in between us. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay. So... Some shit that happened. Yeah, oh, she said she had something touch her finger, right? But I like, wasn't sure, so I didn't say anything. Then he yep. said, I think there's something by us. I said, I know, it just touched me. <laughs> yeah, because I was feeling something. It didn't feel aggressive or anything, but yeah. I definitely felt it. Yeah. And it was like an old lady's hand just barely touched me. Hmm. Yeah, we were hearing a tons of sounds, but it was just really hard because of how odd the crickets are right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But we was getting some intelligent responses, like when I was asking, you know, if they could hear, or if they were cool, or, yeah. you know, and I was, I introduced Crystal to them, and I'm like, can you knock on something if you want to say hi to Crystal, and we heard a knock down the hallway. Really? Yeah, towards Ed, or towards where Ed's at. And I was like, yep, of course, Ed's going to say hi. We heard a weird sound down towards the opening of the building, and I didn't know, if, or towards the entrance, didn't know if it was you or Mom. And I'm like, I don't think it would have been them because they would have announced if they were coming in. Yeah. And uh, it honestly sounded like someone someone hit a dead piano key, if that makes sense. Which that's why I asked if Ed still plays the piano. But that's happened a few. That's happened. A few. Can you knock on one of these walls for us? The ceiling popping. My name is Edward. <gasps> Who touched the cat ball? My name is Michael. <gasps> no way! No way! 